And that was one time that fashion curiosity definitely didn't kill the cat. <laughs> and now with this week's special investigation segment, we're joined by Kent. Hi, Ray. Now, world-renowned evolutionary biologist Dr. Charles Finch is in the country this week, and I believe you sat down with him for an interview. Yes, Ray. As you know, I have a doctorate from an unaccredited Christian correspondence college, so I figured that I would just let the professor know that there is so much wrong with the idea of evolution that it's a wonder that anyone can still believe in it. Hmm, sounds like Dr. Finch is about to get educated. <laughs> Let's take a look. Dr. Finch, thanks very much for joining us today. You're very welcome. Perhaps you could start by telling us what you have against the Bible and why you fight against it so vehemently. No, no, it's not that I'm against the Bible particularly. I really know almost nothing about it. In actual fact, I'm in the country doing a series of biology lectures at universities, and to be honest, I wish I didn't have to have anything to do with anyone's scriptures. But religious people like yourself bring the argument to us biologists, disputing the evidence and claiming things like, I mean, doesn't your religion claim that a god created everything only one million years ago? Which is just totally wrong. No, no, wrong no. Sorry, Dr. Finch. Scale. We believe that the universe was created about 6,000 years ago. Oh, 6,000 years, is it? Yeah, about six to 10,000 years. <laughs> well, sorry, I thought you guys claimed it was a million. But I mean, that's <laughs> I'm a little surprised all. that you make such a basic error, Dr. Finch. I mean, you're meant no, to be well, the like one I who... say, I'm no expert on your religion, and I don't claim to be. But still, 6,000 years or a million, I'm afraid the scientific evidence goes against it on a massive scale. Well, look, I just can't accept evolution as a science when it claims that something as complex as a human eye just popped into existence as a product of random chance. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's about as unlikely as a tornado ripping through a junkyard and producing a fully formed Boeing 747. <laughs> it will just never happen. Of course, that's right. Indeed, it will not happen. And that's not what evolutionary theory claims ever happened. That analogy fails to take into consideration the gradual process of natural selection over many generations. Random changes at the DNA level occasionally produce characteristics that slightly benefit the organism and increase the likelihood of it being able to survive and reproduce. And therefore, the genes responsible for creating those characteristics are kept in the species gene pool to be passed on to succeeding generations, right? Genes that give rise to traits that assist survival get passed on and are built upon over many thousands or millions of generations. So I'm afraid you're using that tornado analogy suggests that you don't have such an accurate understanding of what evolutionary scientists are actually saying. No, no, you're quite wrong on that. Evolution says that complex things just popped into existence randomly. No, it doesn't. I just explained that. Okay, let's move on. Evolution claims that humans evolved from monkeys. But if that's true, why are there still monkeys and chimpanzees now? <laughs> that just completely disproves the whole idea of evolution. <laughs> mm, well, no. See, because evolution doesn't say that we evolved from monkeys that we see in the world today. Evolution says that we and modern monkeys and chimpanzees share a common ancestor. Over millions of years, different species branched off from this common ancestor on their own lines. Our line but eventually But there are still monkeys to here today, humans. so how could we have evolved from them? Look, I just explained that. We didn't come from modern-day monkeys. But you evolutionists say that we did. What? No, I just told you what science has to say about that. Let's move on, shall we? Wait, let's clear this up. I just explained about sharing a common ancestor... Please, Dr. Finch, is... there are alternative theories that shouldn't be censored. What on earth do you mean now, by that? we all know that evolution relies on carbon dating to measure the age of everything. <laughs> carbon dating is actually a useless tool of measurement. Well, again, and it has no, been we well don't and use carbon dating to measure the age of everything. Carbon dating has very well-known limitations, and for that reason we use a wide range of methods for dating fossils and such, such as potassium argon and other radioactive yeah, isotopes yeah, but such still, as thorium. Still, evolution fails as a science in that it claims that complex things like the human eye just popped up randomly. That's um, like saying that if a tornado went through a junkyard, it would produce a Boeing 747. <laughs> it's just too complex. It will on, never happen. Why are you repeating that? That's not what modern biology claims. Evolution is a gradual process of very yes, non-random... Yes, I see you're quite stubborn on that point. <laughs> Let's well, move on. Well, it's what evolutionary science actually says. If you knew anything about biology, you wouldn't have to make things up Why about it. Why do you still trust carbon dating exclusively? What? We don't. I just explained Why that to you. Why don't you just put your faith in something with solid evidence to back it up? <laughs> like Christianity and creationism. Evidence? Yeah, you don't have any. Hold on, you want to talk about evidence? As I understand it, you guys unquestioningly believe in an ancient book that says some carpenter called Moses died and came back to life at a Christmas party or something. What? It was Jesus that was nailed to a cross at Easter. Well, okay, and Jesus he rose from the dead to save you and I from our sins, okay? Okay, well, I wrongly had the idea it was Moses. But you where's the evidence? You were wrong about what we believe again. I can't believe you'd embarrass yourself by making mistakes about what hey, our religion hey, hey, claims. Hey, I heard you. I was wrong. Why won't you admit that you were wrong about the random chance thing? Twice. Well, and because the I wasn't thing. wrong about that. And let's move on now. Uh, now that we're speaking of evidence... Why can't you name even a single example of a fossil of a transitional species? Oh, come on. <laughs> you don't if even you have just one. read a book on evolution... No, sorry, Dr. See? Finch, sorry. But science requires evidence. Mm. And we're afraid that there is simply no evidence for evolution. Right. And that there aren't any um, transitional fossils. <laughs> science um, hasn't produced even one transitional look, fossil. I, 
<laughs> okay, okay. Wait, well, wait a minute. I'm nearly finished. There isn't any evidence for evolution, yeah, um, and you've never produced even what? one transitional fossil. <laughs> Not even one. Oh, come on. And there's no evidence for evolution, but, and, there, hey, and, and there are but, no transitional fossils. Can I, can I, there can aren't I any transitional fossils. Not even one. No transitional oh, fossils. Right. Where's the evidence? There isn't any. There's no evidence for evolution. Not even one fossil of a transitional species. <laughs> Not even one. Can I just correct you wait, on this? Wait, wait. There's no evidence for evolution or transitional fossils. Go ahead. Yes, science does require evidence. And as it happens, museums around the world are full of examples of intermediate species. If you'd only look... We have fossils like Eustenopteron and Tiktaalik that show the slow, gradual change from fish to four-footed uh, uh, sorry, animals. Sorry, no, you don't. Well, what about sorry, nothing yes, like we that, do. And what about the fossils showing the evolution of modern whales via intermediary species such as Pachycetus, Ambulocetus, Tacrocetus, Bacillosaurus, all showing the gradual disappearance of the hind limbs and <laughs> yeah, the movement backwards of what eventually became a blowhole? Yeah, but there aren't any transitional fossils, Dr Finch. Just name one. Well, yes, there are, and I just did, and I could name many, many more. The fossils of these species show a slow, gradual change over millions of years from one kind of animal to a very But there are no transitional different... fossils, and whales don't live for millions of years, Dr Finch. Oh. Look, there are no fossils. And the reason that the fossil record doesn't assist you guys is because all of the fossils were laid down in Noah's time. Noah? Isn't that the story of the guy who sailed on a lake of fire for 40 days in a wooden boat? Why didn't the boat just burn up? No, no, it rained. Water. A flood. Oh, water. Isn't there something in your scripture about a lake of fire or something? Yeah, that's later in the book and it has nothing to do with Noah's Ark. Oh, okay, okay. How I'll can have... you be so wrong? Okay, I must have had the wrong information on that point. So it was oh. water. Okay. But even given that, it's still utterly ridiculous to claim that a massive flood is responsible for the fossil record being in the state it's in. That Dr. Finch, is do you realise that there isn't any evidence for evolution? <laughs> Why do evolutionists like yourself come out and say that the human eye just popped into existence completely at random? <laughs> don't you no, know how unlikely that is? Evolution doesn't say that the human eye sprang up completely at random. Why don't we have... Been through this sorry, look, why don't we have a fossil of a half-penguin, half-lizard? <sighs> or an animal halfway between a slug and a badger? Because and evolutionary why? Why hasn't a monkey ever given birth to a human? Oh, that would be God's proof sake, for evolution. Each of those things would completely disprove evolution. Will... How can you not understand no, that? No, Dr. Finch. Since a monkey has never given birth to a human, then that means that evolution is incorrect. If a monkey gave birth to a human, the theory of evolution would be utterly <laughs> demolished. <laughs> you just called it a theory. <laughs> you admitted it. Evolution's only a theory. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you get... <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, if it was a fact, it would be called the fact of evolution. Just like scientists commonly refer to Einstein's fact of relativity and the germ fact of disease and the heliocentric fact. Do I need to teach you what the word theory means in science? <laughs> no, no, I'm not interested. It's about time you learned a few things, though, Dr. Finch. You think our religion believes that the world was created a million years ago? <laughs> Listen, how many times have I got to tell you? It was yeah, six, six to, to ten, ten thousand, thousand years, years ago. ago. Yes, I heard you. And the Moses yeah, thing. Yeah, it I was about Jesus who rose from the dead. Not Moses. Why weren't you listening? Well, I did. And Noah, you told me about that too, that he sailed, sailed around, around in, in a flood. flood. Not on it. a lake of fire like you think. <laughs> Hello, I'm trying Kent, to teach Kent, you certain things. I stand here. corrected on your claims about these things. Now, let's see if you're capable of allowing new facts into the creationist brain of yours. Now, does evolution claim that the eye just popped up at random? Yes. Mm. And did we evolve from modern monkeys? No, but evolutionists claim that we did. Oh, okay. Um, transitional species? <laughs> Not even one! You can't right. even name I've one transitional I'm species. I'm leaving. You've any closing statement, Dr. Finch? Um, yeah, okay. You, sir, are completely ignorant of the basic oh, fundamental come on. facts please, of the theory please. of evolution. Let's keep it you... civil, shall we? If you have to resort to slander and name-calling, then it just shows that you stupid monkey brain Darwinist Nazi sympathizers have no real argument. Or morals! I'll just sum up by saying that the Big Bang can't have produced Mate, everything because... Mate, that's cosmology. It, it's not biology. They have it, nothing it, to it do with It can't have other. given us any morals because the second law of thermodynamics would have burned up randomly and monkeys would never have invented DNA. And there are no Boeing 747 fossils that were all laid down in Noah's Ark. Thank you for joining us. Look, buddy, how about you go to a library... Open up a book about science. La, la, try la, to la, learn there's something. There's no evidence for evolution. La, la, la. No evidence for evolution. There's no evidence for evolution. La, la, la. I can't hear you. Stick it up, your
So there it is. He was stubborn, arrogant, and knew nothing about the subject. Why don't evolutionists just accept other viewpoints? <laughs> They're so militant. <laughs> they just repeat the same old lines over and over. I know. I'm so sick of hearing the same things from them all the time. <laughs> it's just frustrating now. I won't debate evolutionists anymore. Mm. I think it just gives a bad impression. It, mm. it kind of mm. falsely elevates them to our intellectual level. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. we've got thousands of views of 100% consistent non-intervention from an invisible Middle Eastern deity, plus a self-proclaimed infallible text written by cattle-sacrificing Iron Age superstitious nomads, and they've got nothing but 150 years of unbiased, peer-reviewed research and conclusive confirmation of their biological models from across various scientific disciplines. They don't deserve to be on the same platform as us. So that's the last time I debate a history-denying non-creationist. Mm, that's a pity. Hmm. Actually, no. I've changed my mind. Even though all of my arguments were thoroughly debunked decades ago, I want to spend the rest of my life constantly repeating them, so I'll keep on. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> that tornado through a junkyard thing is a great analogy. <laughs> They've got no comeback for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no evidence for evolution. <laughs> uh, uh, another excellent special investigation, Kent. Once again, letting the facts speak for themselves. Thanks. <laughs>